What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. And today I want to talk about something I observed when I was coming back from Nigeria back to Washington DC. Something I observed that I don't think that anybody on the internet is talking about and I, and I understand why. Now, you know there's a lot of people, a lot of African Americans going to Zambia, right? And they're advertising that they're going to Zambia a lot, right? We know there's a lot of African Americans talking about and going to the Gambia a lot, right? We know that mostly there's a lot of African Americans going to Ghana a lot, right? And we know to a smaller extent, to a lesser extent, there's a lot of African Americans going to South Africa, right? There's, there's a lot. Like, so when you think about countries that African Americans are focusing on, you think about the Gambia, Ghana, Zambia, and uh, South Africa. Also, to a lesser extent, Kenya. There's a lot of African Americans going to Kenya too, right? <clears throat> but what I noticed when I got on an airport to come home from Nigeria is that there was a whole lot of African Americans going home with me. I actually met, <laughs> I met some African Americans who I knew, right? I didn't even know they were there. I knew that were leaving Nigeria on the same plane as me. I also met some Nigerians that I work with that I knew that were also leaving on the same plane as me, right? And there was a lot of African Americans leaving Nigeria. So what I think is happening is, I think the African Americans that's in Nigeria, they're keeping very quiet. They're keeping very quiet about Nigeria. And, and I, I think there's a good reason to. Because you see, Nigeria is truly the focus where Afri African Americans should really be focusing on, as uh, and to a lesser extent, Ghana. Well, not not that much lesser. Matter of fact, let me not say lesser. I say to an equal extent, Ghana. But Ghana has done a better job advertising, you know, themselves than Nigeria, right? But seriously, there are a lot of African Americans in Nigeria. They just don't say nothing. They're very very quiet. They don't want everybody to know. They're just going there doing the work quietly very very quietly why because nigeria is home ghana's home and nigeria is home all right benin is home togo is home look i, I know there's a lot of people going to african americans they're going to kenya they're going to tanzania there's a lot some some going to uganda some going to south africa but those are not necessarily home home is nigeria and ghana togo and benin that's home congo that's home that's home, that's truly home. If you're an African-American, African-Caribbean, and you're trying to go all the way home, Nigeria, Ghana, Benin, Togo, Congo. That's home, 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 home. All those other countries in Africa, those are family, those are cousins, those are brothers and sisters, but that's not home. Tanzania is not home. Uganda's not home. Kenya, that's not home, home. You South Africa, that's not home. That's, that's our neighbors. Those are family, those are cuz, those are brothers in arms, those are people we should be united with, fully and understandable. But if you truly, truly, truly want to go home, I'm talking about where your ancestors came from, where, you're, where the people who look like you, the Bantu people, the people who act like you, the people that got the same personality as you, the people that got the same family structure and mannerism as you, something that you can recognize as an, especially as an African American, your culture, the thing that you're looking for, that, that thing specifically, all the way down to the, if you're trying to hit the bullseye, it's Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, Benin, right? There are a lot of African Americans who are fully concentrated on going home, all the way home, directly to where they come from, specifically, which is Nigeria, Ghana, Benin, Togo, and Congo, right? On that airport, that plane was full of just African Americans and Nigerians. Blended African Americans and Nigerians, half African Americans and Nigerians. Like, and, and this, and the thing is, since I've been flying to Nigeria, I've never seen a plane so full of African Americans and Nigerians. Mostly, it's just been Nigerians coming home. But every time I go, more and more African Americans like myself, more and more and more. But you don't see too many of us on YouTube making videos. I'm like one of the very few African Americans sitting here making videos about Nigeria, right? Very few, right? Very, very few. You got me, you got Dynas, you know, he does his 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 thing where he advertises his travel agency company or whatever he you know he does his you know the little events and stuff or whatever. 
But other than that, I'm like really the only guy that's like, like, that's come to Nigeria, like Nigeria, 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 you know, and not just like trying to sell you something, like come to Nigeria. I'm like the only one, right? I don't see nobody else, but you see everybody else doing Tanzania, Kenya, uh, Ghana, the Gambia, but, but truly, truly home, home. If you're trying to go directly back to where your ancestors come from, where the people who, who got put got put on them boats and brought back from, we talking about Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, and Benin. That's what we talking about. And then the thing is, when you say Nigeria, we saying it just because that's the name of the country, but we talking about the region, right? Because when you say Benin, Togo, you're really talking about what we would consider minor Nigeria, right? It's the same people, you know? Really, honestly, those borders were created by Europeans. But that is the area, West, Africa and Central Africa, the Congo, that's where we need to concentrate on. And you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bunch of African Americans going to the Congo, even though we know there's a lot of things going on there because that's probably the richest place in Africa outside of Nigeria, you know? And then we know they got a lot of conflicts there because that's where it all started, in the Congo. That's where white folks figured out, oh shit, these black folks got a lot of shit, right? But look, y'all really need to focus on Nigeria. Nigeria, out of all the countries, you can, yeah, you can go to Tanzania, you can go to Kenya, and, and if you need that ease, because you know some of their development is a little bit more developed, some of their comforts are a little bit more more there. But if you're trying to, you're talking about the long haul, if you're talking about real investment, if you're trying to be a part of a part of the future power structure of the world, you're trying to be in the next Rome, the next. America, the next United Kingdom, the next Beijing, China, Nigeria. That's the next one. So if you guys, you guys don't start investing in Nigeria, man, you're going to be upset because Nigeria is literally the future. I'm telling you. And there's a lot of African-Americans that know and they ain't saying nothing because they don't want to floodgates. They don't want the floodgates of African-Americans going in there, going to Nigeria, uh, connecting, building companies, Building, um, buying land, getting into different industries. They don't want, they, they get, they're keeping it for themselves because they know they're keeping it for themselves, right? So I'm just telling y'all guys, y'all, why y'all focusing on the easy places where everybody was going, Tanzania, Kenya, and all these, and all these East African, Uganda, South Africa, all these ready made, already done places. Nigeria is a place that's most malleable, that's most, that's, that's, that's most pliable to the West African and his ambitions. Especially if you got some serious ambitions. If you got true mogul ambitions, Nigeria is the place. And one thing about Nigeria, Nigeria is ran by Africans, straight up. You ain't no Lebanese running no Nigeria. Ain't no Chinese le running no Nigeria. Ain't no white people running Nigeria. You ain't got none of that shit going on from that's happening in South Africa. You ain't got none of that shit talking in, in Libya. I mean, I'm not Libya, in, in Tanzania. You ain't got none of that shit in Kenya. You ain't got none of that shit that they got issues with all them foreigners and Indians and blah, 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 blah. That own all the business. You ain't got none of that shit. Nigeria, black. And if you black, you, you, you'll, you'll be propped up. If you're African American, you'll have the most advantage out of anybody. Because Nigerians, they don't play that shit. Yeah, you can come do business as a white person, as a Lebanese, as a Chinese. Yeah, but you ain't playing. You ain't running shit unless you black. Nigeria is unapologetically black. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So, yeah. So, if you're trying to be unapologetically black, you're trying to be super black, you're trying to do business with black, be black, and have all the advantages of being black, Nigeria is the way to go, all right? Because there's a lot of African Americans that secretly and quietly going to Nigeria, building empire, right? While everybody else is going to all these other East African, South African countries trying to make it happen, all right? So that's all I got to say. After the same thing, I'm going to see some. I'm out.